Hey guys, it's Miss Jess. I am back to read the next two chapters for you of Junie B, First Grader, Cheater Pants. We are starting out with chapter three today. Twitching is what it is called. And hopefully you remember that the last thing that happened in chapter two was Junie B thought she lucked out. She thought she had things all figured out because she had stolen May's response to what she had done on Friday. And she figured, I have my homework because all I have to do is get up and share what I did. So let's keep going here. This one again, chapter three, twitching. Finally, we got to the row right next to mine. That is where Jose and Lenny sit. When Jose's turn came, he smiled very proud. He said on Saturday, his daddy bought him brand new soccer shoes and he wore them to his soccer game and he kicked the winning goalie with those things. Lenny went next. He said he got brand new hair gel. Plus, also, he got a thickening cream. A thickening cream can make even the thinnest hair feel rich and full, he said. Whoa, I said. Whoa, said Herb and Jose. Whoa is what we say to be supportive. May sits behind Lenny. She stood up and she read her paper real loud. This weekend, one thing I did for fun was... On Saturday, I made a pot in my pottery class, and after that, I was punctual to my ballet class, and the teacher said I danced like a gazelle. Mr. Scary did a chuckle. A gazelle, huh? He said. A gazelle is a very graceful animal, isn't it? Yes, said May. Would you like to see me do a few steps? After that, she ran to the front of the room, and she started to ballet, but Mr. Scary said to please sit down again. As soon as she got back, I jumped right up. My turn, my turn, I said, real thrilled. I tapped on my chin. Okay, well, let me see now. On Saturday, my grandpa Frank Miller came to babysit me, and he let me roller skate in the house. Plus, also, he let me jump on Mother's bouncy bed. Only pretty soon, I got very pooped. And so I ran into the kitchen, and I drank chocolate milk right out of the carton, without even a glass, I mean. Whoa, said Herb. Whoa, said Lenny and Jose. Mr. Scary raised his hand to interrupt me. Uh, excuse me, Junie B., he said. It sounds like you had a great time on Saturday, but I'm wondering why you're not reading from your homework paper. Just then, my heart got poundy and nervous. Because I should have thought about that problem. I swallowed real hard. Um, um, well, let's see, I said kind of quiet. Why aren't I reading? Mr. Scary smiled. It's all right, he said. You can start over. Just take out your paper and read us what you wrote. After that, I stood there very frozen, and I couldn't even move. Mr. Scary crossed his arms at me. You do have a homework paper, don't you, Junie B? He asked next. I stood there a little while longer. Then I finally reached into my desk, and I pulled out the homework I copied from May. I waved it in the air, kind of weakish. Here it is, I said. Here's my homework paper. See, it's right here. Mr. Scary nodded. Yes, good. Now, could you please read it for us? He asked. I took a deep breath, and then I looked down at my paper, and I read it silently to just myself. Okay, done, I said. After that, I quick sat down, and I stuffed the paper back into my desk. Mr. Scary came back to where I sit. He said, could he please see my paper? I felt shaky and sickish inside. Very slow, I took out my paper again, and I handed it over. After he read it, he shook his head. Then he took my hand and he walked me into the hall. It seems that you and May had very similar weekends, doesn't it, Junie B? He said. I did a gulp. Yes, I said it does. Mr. Scary read my paper once more. So you take a pottery class, do you? He said. I rocked back and forth on my feet. Yep. Yep, I do, I said. I take a pottery class and I make little, well, you know, pots. Mr. Scary breathed real deep. Let's see, you take a ballet class too, huh? He said. Gee, what a coincidence. On Saturday, your teacher said you danced like a gazelle, I said very fast. Gazelle, said Mr. Scary. Whatever, I said. My teacher sucked in his cheeks and looked at the paper again. 
And you were punctual, too, he said. That's amazing, isn't it? I looked up at him. Well, you know, not if you get an early start, I said real soft. Mr. Scary bent down next to me. His face was not jolly. Junie B. Jones, do you have any idea how disappointed I am in you right now? Just then tears came in my eyes and I didn't even expect that trouble. I quick hanged my head so he couldn't see. Sorry, I said. Sorry you're disappointed. He doesn't look very happy in this picture, does he? Mr. Scary took a big breath. He said, we would talk more at recess. Then he gave me a tissue from his pocket and I wiped my tears. After that, we went back into the room. I sat down at my desk, very slumping. Because what do you know? I didn't luck out after all. Chapter 4, Cheater Pants It's still dumb Monday. Dear first grade journal, right now it is recess. I am not playing on the playground. Instead, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm waiting to get yelled at. I wish I could disappear into thin air. If I could disappear, I would run outside and I would find May and I would clunk her on the head. I wish I didn't even sit next to that girl because people should never leave homework on their desk for other people to borrow. That is just asking for trouble, mister. From Junie B, first grader. Mr. Scary was writing at his desk. He looked up and called my name. Junie B, he said, I'm ready for you now. Could you bring your chair up here, please? My stomach flipped and flopped because here came the yelling part, that's why. I did some deep breaths. Then I pulled my chair to the front of the room and I sat down next to him. Mr. Scary took my homework paper out of his drawer. He set it in front of me very serious. I want you to explain this, Junie B, he said. I want you to tell me exactly why you copied May's homework this morning. I tried to swallow, but nothing went down. Well, let's, let's see. The reason I copied was, was, I tapped on my chin, and then all of a sudden I thought of it. Daddy, I said, it was my daddy's fault. My teacher looked surprised at that answer. Your daddy, he said. Your daddy told you to copy May's homework? Yes, I said. I mean, no. I mean, last night I wanted to stay up late to do my homework, but daddy turned out my light, and so he is the reason that I had to come to school without it. Oh, I see, said my teacher. Your daddy wouldn't let you stay up, so that's what's forced you to copy May's paper. I nodded real fast. Yeah, I said, that's exactly it. Mr. Scary raised his eyebrows. So did May actually give you her paper to copy? He asked next. I rolled my eyes at that crazy question. No, silly, May would never be that nice, I said. It's just that this morning she kept on bragging about how her homework is always an A+. Plus. And then she left the paper on top of her desk when she went to the office. And that is just asking for trouble, mister. Mr. Scary leaned back in his chair. Ah, he said, so when May left for the office, you saw her paper and you just decided to borrow it, I said. I decided to borrow it to copy. My teacher did a frown. Borrow, he said. No, Junie B, I'm sorry, but borrow is not the right word here at all. When you copy someone else's paper, that's called cheating. My eyes got big and shocked at that word, because what was he even talking about? No, Mr. Scary, no, I didn't cheat. I didn't, I said. Cheating is when you steal answers off of someone's test. But homework isn't a test. Homework doesn't even count, hardly. Oh, but homework does count, Junie B, he said. Cheating is not just about stealing test answers. Cheating is any time you take someone else's work and you present it as your own. He looked at me. When you cheated this morning, you broke my trust in you, Junie B, he said. We have a rule about this in room one. And there's a picture of Mr. Scary talking to Junie B about her homework. That she didn't borrow from May, she stole from May. She cheated. We keep our eyes on our own papers, he said. You've heard me say that a hundred times, I bet. I felt surprised at that information. That's a rule, I said. No kidding? I always thought that was, well, you know, just a suggestion. Mr. Scary rolled his eyes. No, Junie B, it's not a suggestion. It's definitely a rule, he said. And it's an important rule, too. I drummed my fingers on the desk. Well, I'll be darned, I said. After a while, I did a deep breath. I'm sorry, I said real soft. Mr. Scary smiled a little bit. I'm sorry too, Junie B, he said, but at least now I think we understand each other better. 
I will not put up with cheaters in my classroom. I did a wince. Yeah, only I wish you wouldn't keep saying that cheater word, I said, because I didn't even know I was cheating hardly. Plus, I don't like cheaters either, Mr. Scary. On account of my daddy cheated me at Old Maid last week, and I'm still not over that terrible experience. Mr. Scary wrinkled his eyebrows. Your daddy cheated, he said. I did a sigh. Yes, I said, Daddy raised the old maid way high in his hand so I would pick her, and then I did. And so what kind of sneaky trick was that? Mr. Scary covered his mouth. He was shocked, I believe. I leaned closer to him, and Daddy is not the only cheater pants in my family either, I said very quiet. On account of my grandpa Frank Miller is supposed to be... Mm, he's supposed to be on a diet... But yesterday, my grandma found an empty pie pan in his closet, and all that was left was a little bit of crust and a plastic fork. I thought for a second. No wonder I cheated, I said. Cheating is in my blood, apparently. Mr. Scary did a chuckle. Well, nobody's perfect, he said. Everyone cheats on a diet once in a while, I think. But cheating at school is a very different matter, Junie B. Cheating in school is serious business. Are we clear on that now? I nodded real fast. Clear, I said. After that, both of us shook hands, and Mr. Scary carried my chair back to my desk. After I sat down, he took an envelope out of his pocket, and he handed it to me. I wrote a note to your parents explaining what happened this morning, he said. I would like them to read it and sign it, okay? You can bring it back to me in the morning. I did a gasp at that thing. <gasps> no, Mr. Scary, not okay, I said. Please don't make me take a note home. Please, I really, really don't want to take a note. Mr. Scary thought for a second, then he took the note back. Well... Okay, he said. If you feel that strongly, I won't make you take it. He started walking back to his desk. I'll just call them tonight instead, he said. I did a loud groan. Because what kind of dumb choice is that? I stomped to my desk and I, to his desk and I grabbed back the note and then I stuffed it into my backpack and I sat down at my desk and I wrote in my journal one more time, Mr. Scary is a tattletale. Junie B is not very happy to have gotten caught cheating. We will read tomorrow chapter five. That one is called The Note, and we will also read chapter six. And we'll be getting a lot closer to the end of our story, Junie B, first grader, cheater pants. See you tomorrow. Bye.